Hello everyone and welcome to this video going over all the items and what they give you in the Eternal Cylinder. I'm going to go over the items based on the biomes you can find them in. So I'm going to start with caves, shrines, and chests. Items that only spawn in these places. The organic cube is this red meat cube that can only be found in unique Trebum shrines and is used to unlock special Trebum doors. It gives 31 food when eaten, and the cuboid body mutation. The Gloomroot Droop is this unique rainbow spherical looking thing that spawns inside of certain Trebum shrines and gives 5 water when eaten. The Fin Mushroom is a type of mushroom that only spawns inside dark caves and it gives 7 food when eaten. The glow fruit is this unique green fruit that spawns in dark caves and it gives 12 water when eaten and the luminescent skin mutation. Ganaka's guide is this bland rock looking mineral that gives a small amount of progress towards one mineral when processed by the mineral processor mutation. Ganaka's shield is this cube like mineral and it gives a good amount of progress towards one mineral with the mineral processor mutation. Ganaka's heart is this rare purple slash pink looking mineral that gives a lot of progress towards one mineral. Practically one mineral, just not quite there. The meteoritic crystal is the rarest of all these minerals and takes the longest to process. The meteoritic crystal can only be found in Trebum chests, Trebum shrines, or randomly from the meteors that fall from the sky. And it gives two full minerals when processed. The intracrystalline aggregate is this unique item that only spawns in certain caves and maybe a Trebum chest if you're lucky. And when eaten, it does not give you any stats, but it does give you the Perceptive Eyes mutation. Now we have the Trebomite items. All the Trebomites can only be found in Trebum chests. The red Trebomite grants 100 HP when eaten. The blue Trebomite gives 50 water when eaten. And the yellow Trebomite gives 60 food when eaten. Now there are also some items that only spawn on unique Trebum statues. The Amber Eye spawns on this statue I'm showing you now and it can be in the landscape as you roll around or in caves. When you eat the Amber Eye it doesn't give you any stats but it gives you the Third Eye mutation. The Lithotroph Mushroom can only be found on this unique Trebum statue that is usually found in caves but it can also be found above ground. The Lithotroph Mushroom gives 21 food when eaten and the Mineral Processor mutation. Now for the Savanna items. The first item I'm going to bring up is the Tubular Pod which can only be found in one spot in the savanna in the very first area you get to after running from the cylinder. After this area, the tubular pod can be found on these brown cylinder structures that grow on the sides of these unique pillars. I have found tubular pods in chapter 2 where you get the mutation tree unlocked, chapter 3 the desert biome and this is where they are the most plentiful and I have also seen them in chapter 4 on some pillars. The tubular pod will give 14 food when eaten and the wheel body mutation. The pouch fish is this blue fish that can be found in any large body of water and gives 70 HP when eaten and the storage body mutation. The leap fish is this orange slim looking fish that can be found in any large body of water and gives 60 HP when eaten and the webbed feet mutation. The aquatic phytopad seed can only be found on these giant lily pads that grow on water in the savanna biome. They give 18 food when eaten. The aquatic fungosphere is this blue item that usually spawns just under the water in the savanna. However, it can also be found in caves and on some land masses throughout the game as you travel from biome to biome. This gives 9 water when eaten. The Cocculus can be found in the savanna in water just under the surface as well as in caves that have water and on random pieces of land in between biomes. It gives 7 food when eaten. The Cryptobiotic Coral looks like this dry coral like plant and it gives 7 food when eaten. It can also be found in the desert. The savanna blossom is one of the most common plants in the savanna and it just looks like a simple flower with a blossom on it. It gives 6 food when eaten. 
The tendril flower is not as common as the savanna blossom, and it is a lot more straight with only one bud at the top. It gives five food when eaten. Krukra's tooth is this large, dried up looking mushroom that gives 14 food when eaten. The earth ear is a medium sized yellow mushroom that gives seven food when eaten. The pale cap is a small brown mushroom that gives four food when eaten. The luminous egg shroom is this large green oval looking thing that you can find embedded on the sides of trees in the savanna. They have various sizes and give eight water when eaten. The purple corm is a rare item in the savanna that can be found with the perceptive eyes mutation as it will glow a bright yellow when you have the perceptive eyes active. Purple corm gives you 70 food when eaten, the most of any item in the game. The Ankifert egg yolk can be found by cracking open Ankifert eggs that you find in Ankifert nests. They give 60 HP when eaten. The tuba tuber is this unique fruit produced by pipe reeds, which are the plants that make those unique tuba sounds. When you eat it, it gives you 14 food in the dimatic trunk mutation. The trumpet flower is this unique tall flower that usually spawns in clusters with other trumpet flowers. I'm showing it off now, it has a very unique look. The trumpet flower gives seven food when eaten. The proboscotite fruit might be able to be found in the savanna depending on your map generation because it spawns in this unique type of cave which you could or could not get, which is why I thought it was worth mentioning now. It more commonly spawns in the tundra in these unique areas of the landscape that are kind of like a half cave with water pouring from the top. And I also found one in chapter 4 coming off the trunk of this Trebum statue, which I wanted to share with you guys because it looks pretty cool. When you eat the proboscotite fruit, you get 35 water and the hose trunk mutation. Springworm excreta. As the name says, it's springworm poop, which you can get by just being near a springworm and waiting for it to poop. Eating it gives seven food. As for the springworm, you can eat that to regain 25 HP and get the water processor mutation. The iridescent pearl can be obtained from shelled grawlis while they are eating because their shells open up when they go to eat and sometimes they also leave their shells to go eat. The iridescent pearl can be processed by the mineral processor mutation to gain one mineral, or you can break it open to get the Grawlisk sack. Eating this will give you 15 HP and the iridescent skin mutation. The phytocephalic grass can be found inside the toxic canyons in the savanna, and sometimes in trebum chests as well. The phytocephalic grass gives two food when eaten, and the entomophilus skin mutation. The hardened arrow nut is a hard shell item that can be broken to reveal the arrow nut mesocarp. This gives one food when eaten and the inflatable body mutation. The piper plant is this unique pink plant that kind of looks like an instrument and it only can be found in these unique V-shaped caves in the savanna. These caves are not always open, sometimes they are closed up by a bunch of rocks. However, if you have a tongo grop nearby, you can lure it towards the cave and get it to break all the rocks and then you can go inside and grab the piper plant. Here's what it looks like closed and here is what it looks like open. The piper plant will give you 24 food when eaten and the hypnotic trunk mutation. The yamitsuk is this unique eggplant looking item that spawns in these green leaves that hold it and it gives 18 food when eaten. The creme creme is an onion looking plant that usually spawns near the yamitsuks and gives 10 food when eaten. The filter fluff is this dandelion looking plant that spawns around toxic canyons. Eating it gives you one food and the filter trunk mutation. The hop 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 pod comes from hop hop hops. And when you eat it, it gives you 10 water and the leaping legs mutation. The glick bull head drops from dead glick bull. And when you eat it, it gives you 80 HP and the legless mutation. The Omnigram pellet drops from dead Omnigram and gives you 80 HP when eaten, as well as the irascible trunk mutation. The Tongograp acid pump drops from dead Tongograp in the savanna, desert, and corrupted plains. It gives you 100 HP when eaten and the toxic trunk mutation. Now for the tundra. The aerophytic furball is this 
purple fuzzy looking plant that spawns near these giant coral structures in the tundra and gives eight food and the furred skin mutation when eaten. The optic crystal is this unique item that is produced by the unifier. There is one unifier event in chapter two, three, and four. And right before the Hand of Fate boss battle, you can find a bunch of optic crystals in a Trubum house. Optic crystals will give you one mineral and a lot of progress towards a second when processed with the mineral processor mutation. The ocular orthropod is this weird insect with a huge eye that can be found in the tundra and corrupted plains biomes. When eaten, it gives you 20 HP and the analytical eyes mutation. The tundral pod is this plant that grows quite commonly in the tundra, and they have a lot of pods coming out of one base. It gives 8 food when eaten. The flat mushroom is this flat red mushroom that grows out of the ground in small clusters throughout the tundra and gives 4 food when eaten. The frost fungus is this small blue mushroom with blue dots that spawns in some of the canyon areas of the tundra, but it can also spawn just randomly on the land as well. It gives seven food when eaten. Ice tubers are a hard to see plant because only their green stems stick up through the snow. But when you pick them up, you will see they have a potato-like base. They give 19 food when eaten. The Kali Grugru is this unique plant that has one large fruit growing out of it, and it spawns in small clusters throughout the tundra. It gives 10 food when eaten. Clackax's gift is this blue rose looking flower that spawns off of these green plants that can be found in the canyons of the tundra. It gives 3 food when eaten. The Karkazoop is this blue watermelon looking plant that spawns outside of Trebum Shrines in the Tundra. It gives 35 water when eaten. The Pyrophile fruit is this orange fruit with purple lines around it that spawns near the heated rocks in the Tundra as well as in these hot spots that look like cooling molten lava in the desert. Eating it gives 30 HP and the pyrogenic trunk mutation. The floating crystal is this crystal looking thing that spawns on top of the dendrospiral plants, which are the largest plants in the tundra. To get up here, you need a Vushlop to abduct you, and you can process floating crystals with the mineral processor body. It will give you two minerals and decent progress towards a third. If you break open the floating crystal, there will be a dendrospiral seed inside. Eating this gives you 15 food and the extendable eyes mutation. The tundral Hesperidium is this green looking plant that spawns on top of frozen water in the tundra. It gives 7 water when eaten. The cryopolyp is this unique looking thing that also spawns on top of frozen water in the tundra. Eating this gives you 35 water and the extractive trunk mutation. The umbral lithopyth is this fossilized looking plant that spawns in these half cave structures in the tundra where you can also find the proboscotite fruit. They give 8 food when eaten. The tongo groplet organ comes from dead blue tongo groplets in the tundra. Eating it gives you 75 HP and the mixer body mutation. This only drops off blue tongo groplets. I've killed green ones past the tundra and they still didn't drop anything. The sucker lobe grows off this unique plant that only grows in Trebum Shrines, as well as at the end of chapter two, you can find some of the plants that have sucker lobes next to this Trebum house. It gives four food when eaten and the sucker feet mutation. The Bazaboo is this green looking fish that kind of has an electric pattern on it, and it can be found in any large body of water in the tundra and beyond. It gives 40 HP when eaten and the electrogenic skin mutation. The triple bosch antenna is gained from dead triple bosch and also from dead anagrosh in the desert. Eating it gives 40 HP and the impaired eyes mutation. The frozen sclaw heart comes from dead frozen sclaw but it can also be found in some 
hidden spots throughout the game. You can find one at the end of chapter 2 in this area right of the giant crystal structure where there's a Trebum house. You will notice that there's this small half cave area with a Trebum nest inside and it has a Sclaw heart there. But I also found in chapter 4 you can find a frozen Sclaw heart inside a Trebum chest in the first Trebum shrine with the Glick Bowl puzzle. But you can also find a frozen Sclaw heart in the Trebum shrine with the last elder. If you go to the back of this area where the statue is of the Trebum shooting water, there is a hidden frozen Sclaw heart here. Eating the frozen Sclaw heart gives 100 HP and the regenerative body mutation. The tetrahedron is this unique pink pyramid thing that can only be attained from the last unifier in chapter 2. This item can be processed by the mineral processor mutation to get two full minerals. The tetrahedron can also be found in chapter 4 on unique platforms where liberators can spawn. If you break open the tetrahedron, there will be tetrahedron flesh inside. Eating it doesn't give you any stats, but it does give you the crystalline skin mutation. Next is the desert. The finned jump fish is this unique fish that jumps out of the water and can be found in any large body of water once you hit the desert and beyond. It also glows if you activate the perceptive eyes mutation. It gives 60 HP and the amphibious body mutation when eaten. The tetra crab is this small four-legged crab that you can find wandering in the desert and beyond. It grants 30 HP and the quadruped legs mutation when eaten. Barbagar's foot is this unique red-looking thing that can be found on these plants that grow on rocks in the desert. It also can be found in one Trebum nest in chapter 1 on top of this large structure after you get the inflatable body mutation. Eating it grants 7 food and the meteor feet mutation. The skin tree bark is this orange looking bark that comes off a skin tree that only grows on hot spots on the sides of canyons in the desert. It gives 3 food and the hardened skin mutation. The prickly pone is a fruit that grows on the top of these yellow cactoid plants. It gives 21 water and the episomatic skin when eaten. The yellow awa can be obtained on these medium-sized plants that grow in the desert and it always spawns in clusters within the plant. The yellow wawa grants 11 food when eaten. The xerothermic cluster fruit spawns in small clusters on the ground throughout the desert and grants 7 food when eaten. The ruckle fruit is this brown dried up fruit that grows in clusters in the desert and grants 6 water when eaten. The star polyp is this red anemone looking thing that spawns on the sides of canyons, but it always spawns on the rocks that make up the sides of the canyon. It never spawns inside at the bottom of the canyon. It gives 18 food when eaten. The leaf sponge is this flat brown looking plant that also grows around the sides of canyons, but does not grow on the bottom of canyons in the desert. It gives 10 HP when eaten. The canyon star is this unique mushroom that grows at the bottom of canyons in the desert. It gives 10 food when eaten. The fir tree cone grows off fir trees, which are the largest trees that you can find in the desert. If you can get close enough to them, you can shoot the cones down with water. It gives 10 food when eaten. The hat mushroom grows on the tops of fir trees, and the only way to get this is to have the tornado trunk mutation or really good skills with leaping legs, inflatable body, and tornado trunk. To get on top of fir trees, you activate the fan plants by making a tornado on them so they propel themselves into the air, then you can jump off the plant, get on top of the fir tree, and grab the hat mushroom. It gives 35 water when eaten. The rattle seed is an item that you can obtain from the articulated ang stock by luring them out until it reveals a rattle seed instead of a mouth. Eating the rattle seed gives 10 food and the rattle trunk mutation. 
The mimic mineral is a mineral that can be found on these blue spheres in the desert. It can be processed by the mineral processor mutation to get about half progress towards one mineral. If you break open the mimic mineral, you get the paleomicrobiotal colony, which gives you seven food and the camouflage skin when eaten. The Klaberak pearl comes from the giant Klaberak in the desert. If it ever eats anything, it will shoot out the pearl which you can pick up. You can also find Klaberak pearls in chess. The Klaberak pearl can be processed by the mineral processor mutation to get one mineral and decent progress towards a second. Breaking it open reveals the microbiotal colony which gives 50 HP and the plated body mutation when eaten. The smoke bulb is an item that is only found inside Trabam shrines and is this unique looking bulb. It gives 10 food and the fumigenic trunk mutation when eaten. Stench leaf is this brown looking plant with green spots on it that gives off an awful stench, signified by those green odor lines. Washing it off with some water will let you pick it up. You can eat it to get 28 food and the odorous skin mutation. The Great Gar spore can only be found within the Great Gar's purple sack. Eating it will grant you 5 water and the tornado trunk mutation. There is one item I want to mention that is kind of like an easter egg item here. You can find it in the last part of the desert. It looks like an energy bomb but it is a slightly different color and when you pick it up it's called the tornado trunk mix. When you eat it, it gives you the tornado trunk mutation. This item is not supposed to be here and is actually a remnant of what the mutation system was going to be before they implemented the mutation tree that is in the game. So something cool I wanted to share with you guys. Now for the Corrupted Plains. Be aware the Corrupted Plains has a lot of the same items that the savannah does because it's basically the savannah but corrupt. First we have the Helicophyte fruit which is this purple thingy that grows on top of this weird purple plant throughout the Corrupted Plains. It gives you 14 food when eaten. Helicophyte bulb grows in these small purple plant things, usually near water throughout the plains, and gives you 11 water when eaten. The fungalus is this weird looking lichen that kind of looks like a half mouth thing, and it grows on the sides of rocks. It gives 25 HP when eaten. The skulk bug is this small, weird yellow looking bug that wanders the corrupted plains, and it gives you 25 HP and the stealth legs mutation when eaten. The explosive fruit is this unique looking yellow fruit that can be found on broken pillars throughout the desert as well as on rocks. Eating it gives you 25 HP and the unstable body mutation. The tongue bag is obtained from dead rundeslocks and gives you 30 HP and the tongued trunk mutation when eaten. The carved gem is this purple gem that looks like an eye and it is found in one of the last Trebum shrines in chapter 4. The carved gem can be processed by the mineral processor mutation to get two minerals. Breaking it open will give you the control nodule, which gives nothing when eaten except for the iconic vision mutation. The Squataboo is a creature that is only found in the poisonous green water in the corrupted plains. It grants 60 HP when eaten. The Trawalla Heart is found inside the bodies of Grashtub, and it gives 100 HP and the Master of Song mutation when eaten. The Trawalla Statue 3 is a quest item the Trebum have to obtain to progress in the story. This item can be processed by the Mineral Processor mutation and gives 2 minerals. It is a hard shell item that can be broken open for the Trawalla Core number 3. Eating this only gives the Trebum the Trawalla feet mutation. The Trawalla statue number four is the next statue you obtain in your quest. This item can be processed by the mineral processor mutation and gives two minerals. It is a hard shell item that can be broken open to get the Trawalla core number four. Eating this only grants Trebum the Trawalla trunk mutation. And the final statue is Trawalla statue number one. This is the final relic the Trebum have to collect. This item can be processed by the mineral processor mutation and gives two minerals. And breaking it open reveals the Trawalla Core number one. Trawalla Core one gives two food when eaten. 
and the Trawala body mutation. If you have any questions about these items, feel free to comment below and let me know if I missed anything. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Eternal Cylinder content.